Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Saturday, January 13th, 2023. Or 2024, sorry. <laughs> I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. As you know, I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders, and it's a timeless read, okay? I, um, if this is your reading, you'll know from the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make things fit if it doesn't. I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head, no other reason. So if you have to switch the genders and or the roles, go right ahead, that's not a problem. Just remember, it is a collective general reading. Not every read is going to be for you. So you have to use your higher wisdom and discernment with tarot. I'll bring out the tarot cards. I'll give you the description of the cards as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know your story best. It'll be all the descriptions, some one end or none, and then we bring it together at the end. If you haven't done so already, uh, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Consider joining this beautiful soul tribe. I would be truly honored if you did. For those who have, as you know, I love you so very much. Um, I've missed you. <laughs> um, thank you for all the love and support you've shown me. It means the world to me. Let's see what spirit has today. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. What's the message for the collective for today? What would you like to discuss, please? Playful and reverse 44. Um, the angels are around you. The angels are wanting you to be more playful, possibly. Maybe you've been stressed out a lot. This is the overarching energy, by the way. You've been stressed out a lot. You, you, Raise your vibrations, okay? Laugh. Listen to comedy if, if you know, play with the kids. Play with your pets. Um, maybe you're going to get a new kitty, a new fur baby or something. And, there, yeah, somebody's taking an oath. Oath of office. A vow, you know, marriage. 49 is 13, so something's over. Somebody that, maybe somebody doesn't want something to end. They're trying to be more playful with you or you them. Place yourself where you fit, okay? Hmm. So underlying energy. What am I picking up? I don't know. Somebody's very messily conflicted here. Something to do with cycles. 37, destiny, fate, uh, change. Somebody's pl promising to be more playful. Uh, they want to change or they don't want something to change. Um, give me time. Give me time. Um, in the reverse, somebody's getting some karma here. Okay. Something's coming back on them. Uh, these these energies are very scattered lately. It's hard to understand where we're going with these energies. 44, playful. Act with integrity. 44 adds to an 8. Um, peaceful amongst thorns. 26 is another 8. So abundance is near. You could be in an environment that's chaotic, maybe karmic. Um toxic you remain the spirit's telling you to remain playful and at peace don't lash out don't you know be peaceful maybe you have to step out of a situation for a while and just regain your composure um maybe you're dealing with somebody that's hard to deal with been there done that um you're gonna find these people you know throughout your life every now and then it could be at work could be somebody you're living with could be a family member could be a partner Stay peaceful. From the deck, someone's calling a storm. Wow, you could be actually having a storm right now in the middle of the storm. I know the weather's not been great for a lot of us here. So three, it adds, it boils down to a three. It could be um, a mother or a mother figure, you know, your children's mother. It could be a pregnancy. Somebody's, I don't know, hormones are going crazy. And I'm not using hormones, but, you know. It does add to some of the problems. You have to stay peaceful for the baby if you are pregnant, okay? Um, could be dealing with a divine feminine as well, and that could be male or female, okay? We have both male and fe uh, masculine and feminine energies within each and every one of us. And if somebody's called in a storm. Um, looking for peace here, a truce, hiding your true self. Somebody's biting their tongue. They're biting their tongue about something. One of four is five. It could be a marriage commitment. It could be a contract. You're dealing with institutions of some sort in the reverse. Well, it could be a divorce or separation. Somebody doesn't like traditional relationships or values. Uh, the, your value system is not the same. No belief system. Could have broke the law. I don't know. Could break in a contract. 
Somebody's trying to remain peaceful. Somebody's egging someone on, possibly. Um, if you find that somebody's trying to egg you on to get you out of character, get the fuck away from them, okay? They don't mean you well. It's, it's, it's to harm you. You know what I mean? Somebody's causing a lot of shit in your life. Well, you know, you know what? You, maybe they're trying to be more playful with you. Stay calm. They want to come back into your energy, possibly. It can be all kinds of things. A wedge that just popped out. Wedge. Someone's trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Why is playful here? 44 and peaceful amongst thorns. 26. August. Their birthdays could be in August. Yours or theirs or something took place last August. Or somebody's trying... Ah. August. Isn't that a word like trying? Earnest. No, I'm, looking, I'm thinking of earnest. Anyways, something took place in August past or it's going to take place in the future. Fox. Shrewd and resourcefulness, especially in business. So this could be a partner, a co-worker. Wreath. Sorrow over loss. So if you lost anybody, I'm very, very sorry for your loss. My condolences. Or it could just be something's ending your job, a way of doing things. Seahorse, family matters. I'm so sorry. Frying pan, trouble and accusations. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. Target, a goal-oriented person. Or they could have targeted you. Or they're making you the target for, for something that you didn't do. You know, projection. Shark, take care of, or there will be a loss of material wealth. Grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. So be very careful and leery. Mule, someone's extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. So you're only as strong as your weakest link, okay? Remember that. They're trying to chain you to something. I, psychic ability and trust your intuition in Broken Bridge. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So you have to burn this bridge. Somebody's getting the axe here. Forces working against you. Uh, they don't want you to bridge something or, or have access to something or someone maybe or they no longer do. Uh, teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex and affairs with your family here. A tree. So somebody interfered in a family reconciliation. In a family situation, somebody got involved. That this maybe a third party. If it's love, it could be a third party in family as well. Okay. Somebody got involved, like somebody's friend got involved in your family and caused a lot of shit. I was only joking. I was only trying to be playful. <laughs> New mall, yeah. They did something they shouldn't have done. Pick it as supplies. Everybody's story is different, but there's. A similarity in our stories, right? So we have 44 playful, peaceful amongst thorns, 30, uh, 26 in August. Why is this here? Please spirit, clarify this for the collective. So the angels are keeping you steady on an even keel, possibly dealing with this person. Okay, thank you, spirit. They said take the other deck out for more clarity upon this August. I'm looking at August and I'm going, what the hell does that mean? So something to do with business, resourcefulness. So we have playful, 44. Play, uh, peaceful amongst thorns, 26 in August. Confidence. They don't like your confidence. So be confident in who you are. I think somebody's trying to get your goat. And you've remained peaceful and playful throughout it all. Somebody's birthday could be in August or something took place in August. They don't like your confidence. Stay confident, okay? They could have been doing magic on you to try to screw you up. Somebody's very childish and immature. There's a promotion or raise. Pornography. Good news. There's a cover-up. So you could have been accused of having pornography on your computer at work. They tried to set you up and you stayed steady. Okay? Mysterious or mystery. Slander and libel. Divorce separation. So they're wreaking havoc in your, your whole world. Maybe it's somebody that you could have had a a one-off with that you worked with and they got involved with your family as well. Vehicle, show off, jail and prison, love bombing, there we go, support, blackmail, there we go, unemployed, narcissist, toxic and karmic. Okay, this could be anybody you're dealing with that try to, they're in denial here or they're being denied. Um, they're denying maybe they, they cheated on somebody, you or them. There's a wedding of some sort, I don't know. 
it's all kind of convoluted. The energy I find today is very convoluted. And these people are being childish with you, okay? Um, how can you stay so steady? How can you be so confident and playful when my world's falling apart? Well, that, that's because they're used to their, their world falling apart. It sounds like they're very toxic. It's a narcissist, right? Since when is their world calm and peaceful? And because their world's like that, they want everybody else's world to be like that. Well, that's, that's just not reality here. So we have Playful 44, Peaceful Amongst Thorns 26, August and Confidence. Maybe they want to come back to you and reconcile. And they're confident that if they stayed peaceful and playful with you, you'd allow them back in. Take it as a blight, okay? Somebody was definitely playing magic, so um, they called in a storm. They made an oath to somebody whether it's in marriage or business or a secret society or covenant or group. What's this here, please, Spirit? Help me understand what this is. Two more? Thank you. I broke out the white array, weight deck today because the other decks, I, I did two other ones. I don't know if I'll post them because they're convoluted. It's just everywhere. Cleared and cleared and cleared. I've smudged. I've done everything I could. Thank you. King of Wands, male or female, somebody in the leadership position here. They hold power. They're holding on to that, that rod, right? Could have a platform. Doesn't have to be, but they could be elevated in life, in their station. Typically, it's somebody that protects and defends. They, they do the noble thing. They have morals and ethics, right? Um creative and, and bold oof page of swords underlying uh, overarching energy so somebody could be stalking you since you broke up with them it could be love it could be friends it could be business family they lied they spread rumor gossip and slander about you they were petty and cruel abusive right so karmic you're dealing with a karmic person here you don't trust this person yeah it's a, a love bomber they're very insincere if it's a relationship, maybe they were having casual hookups outside the marriage or the relationship. Don't have to be married. Um, it could be spell work. And they're looking back to see if their spell work has worked. Trying to break you up with somebody or something maybe. or I don't know. We'll see. They're trying to cause havoc in your world. That's for sure. Why is the page of swords here in reverse and the two cups in reverse for the collective, please? Let me understand where this is going, spirit. Narcissist. There we go. King of swords in reverse. Very abusive. Very cold, calculated, right? Um, liar. Um, there's awareness here. Somebody's taking action. You could be in the driver's seat, but this is the universe bringing this about. Somebody has to balance something with you. They got let go, or if this is work, or you let them go. They're angry here. They're giving up, or you gave up. They're angry. They're trying to block you, or you're aware they're trying to block you somehow. Um, you're moving on and they're trying to stop you. Okay, they feel entitled. This is a poser, a player energy. They're very aggressive. They're very arrogant, conceited, very entitled. They want to put pressure on your back and or burdens. They, they're burdened and or they try to burden you. Since when does a narcissist not burden people, right? It's all their problems too. You have to fucking help them do this, that, and the other thing. Meanwhile, they create the problems, leave you holding the bag and they don't care. So somebody's moving on here, traveling or moving, possibly. It could be the police coming in for some reason. They're parting ways with this person. Maybe they got aggressive physically. I hope not. So we have the chariot. King of Swords in reverse. The chariot, the upright. Moving on, moving on. Yeah. They want to come meet you in calm waters. They could be on the run, too, for some reason. Oof. They could have went overseas or contacted somebody overseas to do magic on you. But you, Spirit pulled you out of rough waters and brought you into calm waters and kept you peaceful, like the card said. This is universally driven. This is spiritual protection as well. Um, you're in a happy place, maybe. They were manipulative. They were very, very casting illusions, right? Very decept, deceitful. Pardon me. Uh, this is family discord as well. They could have stolen a lot of money from you. It could be an inheritance. could be family money. Um, they're hurting for money. They're lo losing long-term stability or they did magic against your money or family. Take it as applies or your relationship. 
could want to come meet you in calm waters now. Somebody's taking some action. Somebody's a player energy. Could have cheated on you while they were uh, traveling. They want to get you back in bed. Somebody's angry here. This could be the police coming in. Uh, they're on the run. They did something too impulsively here. Take it as applies. Or maybe they have an or you have an order of protection. And they know that if they show up at your house, and I think they're going to try, you're going to have to call the police on them. That reminds me the other day, or maybe it was a week ago, I was outside and I saw these cop cars go chasing a car. Could have been a, could be chasing them in, in a vehicle. I don't know. Not a wands in the upright. Somebody's, uh, their reactions are knee jerk, okay? So if maybe you were always like that in the past, very knee jerk, you know? They, they can get your goat any which way. So it's, it's, spirits are trying to keep you calm. To deal with it in a calm manner because dealing with a narcissist, you, there's no no point in arguing with them. You won't win. They're such gaslighters. You know what I mean? There's no point in, in meeting them on their level because you're just going to get karma for it. You're just going to wind up hurting yourself because that's what they want, okay? They want to egg you on. Come on, give me that knee-jerk reaction. Come on, one more time so I can put you in jail or I can show the world what kind of an asshole you are instead of me being shown as the asshole. You know what I mean? Knight of Wands. So somebody's taking some sort of action. They were giving and receiving with others. If they were doing magic or employing people overseas to do magic, that's what it is, you know, a merchant. Paying people here and there. Or they were, they want to balance something out with you. Yeah, this, somebody got injured or hurt or sick here. Somebody must, they, must, they have to balance something. They have to go into recovery maybe and or recover. They want forgiveness. Because, yeah, whatever they did, it was an empty victory. There's this... It was, it's born out of ego and, and, and jealousy, pettiness, and cruelty. A lot of abuse going on here, okay? They could have made you the target of covens overseas and or your family. They wanted, they paid people to try to physically do something for you. And instead of you getting injured, whoever they were working with got injured. And they're walking away at a loss, right? Because they know you're innocent. So if they did magic on an innocent person, yeah. Something hap something quick is going to happen. They want to apologize to you and quickly, whether this is the narcissist. I kind of find it hard to believe a narcissist will apologize, but there's been a lot of abuse going on. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a narcissist. It could be a lot of abuse. It was mean. It was cruel. People are aware of it now. They want to come meet you in calm waters and balance things out with you because they're getting hit hard potentially okay now if it's not a relationship it could be yeah you they want to put these burdens down they're very burdened you're not taking on their karma by the way so if they think that you're going to help them out of this bind whatever bind they're in um you've got no karma you've got no debt you have no burdens why would you take their burdens on and maybe that's why they're coming towards you playfully peacefully confident they can get you to take on their karma and help them out of this yeah they maybe want some money maybe they're going to offer you some money okay because you're stable and secure they know you have spiritual gifts possibly so they want you to help them transmute whatever this is five of swords in the upright ten of wands in reverse you don't want this bullshit so stay peaceful yeah, somebody lied. So we have a couple here, co um, counterparts. This could be business, could be family, okay? They lied, they were jealous, they were vindictive, they want vengeance. It's a lot of abuse, okay? They, or maybe they they want to get you mad. They're, they, they think you're naive, okay? They did something really foolish, really reckless. And now some truths are coming out, and they can't face the truth. They're afraid to face the truth. They don't want to, right? To an empress. Well, to a divine feminine energy. Now, a divine feminine, you could have tried to sacrifice you. Or you made a lot of sacrifices for these people and they think they can get you back there. You, They put you in a, in a position to, where you had to struggle. They kept delaying something for you. Maybe your money. Maybe, I don't know. They could be in a gang or a group or a coven where they make vows and oaths to these people to destroy people's worlds. Okay. See, the other reads weren't 
very concise. I, I wasn't very happy with them so far because Spirit wants me to talk about something and I really didn't want to. So now it's obvious. I'm going to have to talk about this, okay? Um, Spirit wants me to address that there are certain death cults out there who are self-proclaimed warriors of Christ who hunt down evildoers thinking they would have eternal glory for their acts and will be granted a plena plenary indulgence by God. Um, this special type of indulgence that of all the... Sorry, pardon me. This is a special type of indulgence that if all the requirements are met, it will remove all temporal punishments due to one's sins. So these people have sinned greatly, mightily in their past, possibly, and they want to be absolved, right? Or they keep doing it every weekend and they go back on Monday and they do shit and they think they're absolved. This became popular during the Crusades. The problem with this is that they're using any and all means to come after people they deem evil and an enemy of God. They, report, they resort to magic as one mean of, of a means of completing their task and have targeted innocent people for greed, ego, and jealousy under the guise of a holy war. So remember, vengeance is his, okay? Everything that they've done has been seen and judgment has been called upon these people. You shall reap the evil you have sown, masked as a soldier of God, okay? So it... It has been so ordered. Um, so, Spirit wants to ask you, who the, you know what, who do you think you are? Extreme hubris is here to think that they could get away with this. They did the same during the witch hunts. If you had property, money, or respect, some were jealous and greedy. Once the accused were executed, they claimed their property and called it righteous. Archangel Uriel is here, by the way. He's been working with me the last couple of days. I haven't worked with him for a while, but he's back, okay? So he's the guardian of the gates of heaven, the Garden of Eden, and God's truth. He helps to resolve family and societal conflicts and helps you strengthen you and your resolve. He's the angel of repentance. He whispers encouragement to those in darkness and finds ways to divert your thoughts. He's also known as the angel of wisdom. He shines the light of God's truth into the darkness. He watches over the world and Tartarus. And Tartarus is the state or of fallen angels and demons. Some call it hell. So that's why he's here. And that's why he's working to bring light, shed light on this. I know some people are going to say, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> But that is, he asked me to repeat that, and I, I left it, let it go, let it go, until now. So the Empress, this is a divine feminine energy. They did magic on you, okay? The secrets are now coming out. People are paying attention. Somebody's getting the message here, okay? They want to message you. They were talking shit about you, doing magic to you. Um, now they're feeling some kind of way. They wanted you feeling dejected, rejected, uh, abandoned. They didn't listen. They didn't listen to the divine. Maybe it is a relationship. They wanted quantity over quality, or they just, they were enamored with, you know, shiny things, things that don't matter or last like money. And, and, you know, look what I own. Look at my jewelry. Look at my car instead of a real deal here. Okay. Which is a gift from the divine. They lied, cheated, and they stole from you. And committed an injustice against you by using magic, okay? They missed their shot here, okay? They're losing money. They're in debt. There's evidence and proof of what they've done. They were looking at this going, or this could be, again, it could have something to do with this indulgence, okay? Meaning, that's what they call it, plenary indulgence. The, the Pope would say to soldiers, go to war for me, do my bidding. Also kings, okay? Uh, and guess who's profiting? It's the church and it, it was royalty. It wasn't these soldiers who some, most of, well, a lot of them lost their lives, but, or, you know, lives or limb, but really who's to say that their, their sins were eradicated? They were gone, absolved. Okay. Cause it's, it's just, well, I'll give you, if you go to war for me, you're, you're absolved of all your sins. How's that? Who are, this is not God speaking. This was men speaking. Okay. To get their way. Greedy, it's unstable. This was an injustice against God. Who are they? 
They're not to judge people. Oh, you've been absolved. Who are they? And to go out, go out and kill more people. Who are they? Yeah, conscious awareness. You're co-creating with the divine, okay? Someone's taking some action here. You're manifesting something new, and God's provided you with all the tools to deal with this shit, okay? So somebody's coming in with an offer. They want to help support you. They want to come love you up. They're out of money, maybe. Or they sent somebody your way to steal money from you, to destabilize you. The King of Pentacles, that's the card that was beneath it. So there, everybody's maybe knowing that this King of Pentacles goes around love bombing people first and then he takes them out, gets what he can out of it, take, as, take it as applies. Love bombing could be somebody at work, sleeping around, Magic, uh, magician, medica. So you've been able to uh, transmute all this energy. Yeah, there's been some trauma bonding, trauma here, uh, giving out some false information, um, unrequited love. They're, they were gaslighting you, playing mind games here, okay? Lying to you. No clarity, no truths here. Wanting to destabilize you. What I tell you? They can't play games with you anymore. They know you know. Now they're scared because whatever they've done, it's coming back on them. They wanted to possibly say you were crazy or sick so they can handle you know, Steal your money. I don't know. It, it could go different ways for different people here. But the punishment is great. It's going to be grave, I heard. Somebody's in debt. They wanted you in debt. They're unstable right now. Yeah. They're karmic here. There's a false contract here or parting of ways with karmics. Um, it's a one-sided deal. There's consequences to this. They're not happy. They're sick. They were doing magic. Wow, it's all coming back on them. Uh, they were forceful. They were jealous. They were hateful. Uh, they were prom promiscuous. They were trying to keep it in the dark as to what they were doing to people, you or that, or, or others. It's, 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 guess what? You can't hide it forever. They're shitting bricks. You see that water? It's roiling. They're looking stoic, but they're shitting bricks. They know they're a freaking karmic. They know what they've done. Yeah. <laughs> There's no peace here. Fallen angel. What I tell you. So Ar Archangel Uriel overlooks the fallen angels and the demons. He's in charge of that. So somebody's feeling some kind of way about this. They can't transmute this dark energy at all. There's no peace, harmony, or contentment where they are. They went to extremes in appropriate behavior, and they fucking know it. There's no balancing this shit out. Look at that. That came out. So this was this illumination here. Letting go, letting God. They wanted you to come back or they can't come back from this. They want to dig their heels in and, 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 and refuse to move on. They want to be an emperor. They could be an emperor. You could be this person. A boss, a father. Somebody in a position of power or divine masculine. Take it as applies. There's no reconciling this. They can't uh, they can't sacrifice you if they tried. It's not working out to their yeah, their plans fell through. They can't move on, they can't travel, their ships aren't coming in. This is painful for somebody here. Their plans fell through. They didn't want to let go, it didn't serve. They know you knew, okay? They know. They didn't foresee this. They're not prepared for this. They could have had a heart attack, okay? If it's not a heart attack, they were talking shit about you. There was a lot of abuse, like I said. Uh, you healed your own heart. They weren't expecting this. 3-3, three, three, by the way. It could be a secret society. Somebody's looking at this, looking back to see, oh, are they going to have a heart attack? When can, I, when can I get this money? They're trying to block your money. They're trying to block some sort of investments, block some, some proof or evidence. Maybe it's... Um, if they purchased any services from practitioners online it could be easily found even if they deleted it they're trying to block this communication block this backfire that's what it is wow they're looking back to see if this spell has hit you no they're blocked they're trying to block this or you blocked it <laughs> ain't coming near you spirits blocked you okay they don't know what to do Maybe they lost their internet or their electricity or their service provider. 
They don't know what to do. There was a sudden departure, sudden arrival of some sort. Maybe their their posse, their friends, their group are all leaving this person on their own because they don't want to hit get hit by the blowback here. There's a lot of no non action. They're going through a dark night of the soul. Um, this is abuse. This is they put others in danger. This is financial ruin and spiritual jail. They know they're in spiritual j jail. The divide's all over it. Yep, they're paranoid here. They're trying to block this. They caused a lot of emotional pain for you, possibly, but you you put up some fierce boundaries, okay? You overcame it. You're shining a light on this bullshit. Somebody's on their own. They're paranoid on their own. People are bailing, bailing on them, okay? They're tapping into their, their higher wisdom, maybe. I don't know. But they know they're going to get hit hard here. The divine's going to hit them hard. They want forgiveness, maybe. But you block them because you know the, the score. Yeah, it's coming back on them. Blowback. They're praying. They're worried. They should have just walked away here. They're facing the unknown. Oh, that was supposed to be one card, but two can Yep. No more confusion about this here. Everybody sees the truth. They're running out of options. They don't have a choice. You walked away. If it's a relationship, a family, or somebody you're dealing with, a partner, there was no emotional fulfillment. You listen to your intuition. See? The head's turned up to the, to the, the moon here. Um, they're facing the unknown and or they're now finally listening to their intuition. They don't have a choice. They want to protect themselves. So maybe they're going to come back to you and help them help. Yeah, this is a coven. <whistles> Someone's angry. They bit off more than they can chew here. Wow. Ending a collaboration because you're still sta stable and secure, male or female. You're okay. They know that, that yeah, you're, you're out in the public eye or they could see you on online somehow. Profile, this is victory, success, reward, recognition. You're highly intuitive as well. You're e emotionally balanced. This is poor judgment. They're getting karma. They're getting karma. They could be listening to tarot to see if they're going to get karma. Yeah, they're watching you, okay? Um, you're, you're stable. So their magic didn't work. Their love spells didn't work. Their money spells didn't work. They're in. They're they're um, very emotional because they have no spiritual protection here. You're too strong for them. You're too resilient. Okay. Emperor in the upright, male or female. You're still steady and secure. You have wish fulfillment here. Okay. Material harvest. They were very greedy and gluttonous, okay? The devil was beneath that as well. They were very satisfied doing this in the beginning, but now that it's all coming back on them, it's like, no, oh no, right? It, it's a big calamity. You're still playful. You're still, the angels are still around you, protecting you. Oh, I get it what it is. You have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. You strength and courage. You're resilient. They made an oath to do this, to annihilate you, 13, to end you. And guess what's happening? It's not going towards you. You're peaceful. You're serene. Peaceful amongst thorns. You're strong. You're courageous. They were throwing all kinds of things your way. None of it hit, uh, resonated. None of it hit you. You stayed balanced, right? They called in the storm against the divine feminine. Good luck with that one. Something to do with August. Could be birthdays. Could be something happened. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So this has something to do with a lot of money. So they were doing this to you. That's too bad. They were confident that their magic was going to work against you, destabilize you, and it didn't. They were very childish and immature. What's beneath that? They want you to forgive them now. Forgive them. Good for you. Because look at this. This was at the bottom, top of the deck here. Sorrow over loss. Psychic ability. Trust your intuition. They tried to chain you to something. Well, guess what? They were stubborn about it too. They're in trouble. It is what it is. Uh, sorry that these people had to go there down this route. <clears throat> A lot of people are going to get... Um, their lives are going to be different now. Or their, or their afterlife. Take it as applies, okay? They, sh they shouldn't have done this. They've angered the divine. 
Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. Oh, we ending the read, please. Where are we going with this? Time for not. No time for not now. No time for us. 24 in reverses, 6 in reverses. Parting away with karmics. False contract. False. Okay? Their decisions were poor. They made the wrong decision, and now they have to suffer the consequence. They can't sleep. They can't eat. They're really stressed. Poised. You're, you remain poised throughout it all. 48 is 12, so they try to sacrifice you. Oh, boy. They didn't want to let go. They wanted to cause all kinds of bullshit in your world. You're going to be seen on, uh, on a pedestal here. I think the, the divine wants to place you on a pedestal or they wanted to be placed on a pe pedestal. Take it, take it as it applies. Be, uh, between worlds and reverse, this chaos they unleashed. They tried to say that maybe you weren't a divine feminine, you were a karmic. No, these people are karmic, okay? They were greedy and selfish, possessive, jealous. You're going into your new life. Congratulations. Again, again you're on a pedestal. So a new life is coming, 30, uh, 39 here. You made a lot of sacrifices, but you're not going to sacrifice anymore. The divine has got you. Congratulations. You hung in there. And now they're stuck. Now they have to reap what they've sown. Um, I wouldn't want to be them facing the divine when the time comes. And not that he's a scary and opposing. I mean... When I faced him, it was I, I felt shame. I didn't feel worthy enough to even look at him. And he commanded me to, to lift my head up and look at him, and I couldn't. My body wouldn't move. And he pulled his hand out towards me to lift my head. And I was shaking. I didn't feel worthy enough. I was shaking. You know what I mean? And I, 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 maybe in past lives I've done really horrible things, but in this life I haven't done anything that horrible to, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I wouldn't want to be these people. I feel sorry for them, actually. Especially using the divine's name to do these heinous crimes for gain and for for greed and, and for ego, you know? Getting, uh, sleeping around and shit like that. So, you're a human being, not a human doing. Is it possible you're suffering from workaholism? Could you be the one who thinks it's your job to save everyone, to be there for everyone, and to go, go, go until you can barely see straight? You've gone as far as you can. You've worked hard and nourished people and projects, but now you're an empty well and have no reserves for others or for yourself. Don't let your ego keep you going full, full speed when your body and spirit need rest. Exhaustion is calling you to stop what you're doing altogether and take a break. If you don't, the appearance of this card could pretend a possible illness that stems from being totally overwhelmed. You feel you will you will feel feel sorry like a new person if you take that break. So do it now. So this could be for anybody involved. Um, they've been I know practice, certain practitioners been employed to go 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 twenty four seven. And where did they go? <laughs> what did they achieve? Nothing. Not not you know they didn't gain they didn't win. Um, they've lost. Um, possibly their own souls. I don't know. Can't say I'm not the divine. So poised. Essential meaning. Being ready. Bringing something to light. Being at your best in confidence. And they didn't like your confidence. You can be assured that you're ready for anything right now. You know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. Your skills are sharp. You've come to, the, to this place armed with wisdom and knowledge. There again. Wisdom. is Uriel. And you sense a new phase of your life about to begin. People respond to your confidence and trust you. This is an auspicious time to begin new things. So congratulations, okay? You're um, no longer in between worlds. You're moving on. Three in reverse, the protection message, please. Uh, be mindful of your expectations. This is not a time for guarantees. Things will not go exactly as you planned or dictate. Let go and see what spirit has in store. What takes hold in your life will be better than you can imagine. So if you have, I don't know, again, it could be for anybody that's involved with this. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Take it as you will. This is spirit speaking. This is the card speaking. So we could go either way. Angels, where, how are we ending the read, please, for the collective? What's the final verdict? Seven of Cups, confusion. 
options, don't know what to do. Time is up too. 47, that's 11, that's justice. God the just judge. He is the only judge, okay? Contemplation makes the truth known in legal proceedings. Justice, I can't make it up. Kaliel, 18, there's a lot of lies, illusions, and, and, and magic. Death spells. The invocable God. Justice makes truth known in court, causes innocence to prevail. So this could have something to do with the court setting, whether it's in the 3D, 5D, or both. Eight of Pentacles. You're, you're self-mastery. You're a master of your craft. You, you mastered yourself. This is success. 31, 4. That's the emperor. You could be the emperor, male or female, in leadership position, or this could actually be a father, or this could be the divine. The divines are our father. God, the teacher. Intellectual talent provides knowledge. So he's he's allowing us, through us, giving people golden nuggets of knowledge here and information. So King of Pentacles, somebody stable and secure, very grounded, very successful. Um, the adored God, 34, that seven chariot moving forward, taking accountability, bringing back balance. Universally led, victory, obedience, causes harmony and peace, calms anger in anyone. Good for you. You're divinely protected here. Seven of Wands, you were protected. The expected God, this is justice yet again. Liberation, deliverance from enemies, both visible and invisible. Do you understand what I'm saying? So they were in the, in the shadows doing all this work on you. And they call, they might have said you were evil, you were doing magic, blah, 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 but you weren't. Okay? They were coming after you because obviously there was a court case here. Could have something to do with this in uh, inheritance, uh, life insurance, m uh, family money. Uh, they hired these people to do it. It's coming from groups of higher-ups that have intel, that have access, if you know what I'm saying. And they come after people, and lo and behold, most of these people are innocent of, of these accusations. They don't face them. They don't say, you're doing this, that, and the other thing, give you a chance to defend yourself. No, no, no. They just come after you. And they say this is all in, in, in you know, the... They're in service to God. Um, well, you you face him and tell him that, okay? Taking people's lives and their money, stealing from them for gain, for ego. These people are nuts, okay? They're psychos. They believe their own hype, and they must be stopped. And this is the read. I hope you like it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.